Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambo channel, and today we've seen some of the craziest price action from XRP way to the upside. XRP has definitely been trending upward, and uh, the excitement seems palpable all up on the Twitters. Uh, it seems that everybody is uh, today in celebratory fashion, and fair enough, hey, let's let's celebrate the little things, right? Let's celebrate the, the progress that we experience together as an XRP community and or some such crap. Because, I'll tell you what, I know what I hate, and I don't hate this. XRP, as I record this, it's uh, sitting right at its 24-hour high. Actually, I think it technically just broke above it a moment ago. Uh, wow, <laughs> 32 and a half cents. Man, these, this is exactly in the range of what so many analysts were telling us what to look for in terms of if you break this resistance, flip this resistance, it's like whoosh, taking off. And so that's why in recent days I've been sharing with you that so many analysts are saying if we just get to this this um, to, to this place and if you can actually flip this, uh, it's like <laughs> we could really see some serious fireworks. It could make uh, today look like a big nothing. And, you know, there's analysts that are calling for 50 cents. There's some that are calling for more, so like, upwards of a dollar. Uh, you know, assuming that we, we flip uh, this this zone that we're in right here, you know, turn it into support. So, man, we're sitting here. That's why the t it's so exciting right now. We've not seen anything like this. And don't forget, this is another reason I think it's legitimate to, uh, to, to feel ex excited. You know, we've been experiencing on the charts... Higher lows and higher highs since March of this year. Prior to that, we were just in this bearish downtrend for years, but the charts show us that we're not in that anymore. So if we start to see something like this where there's a notable jump up, uh, if the charts continue, even if there's a retracement, it looks like the, if that's the macro trend that's in place, there's reason to be excited. And, and I'll tell you, especially when you see the Bitcoin maxi trolls acknowledge, okay, it's time to buy XRP. That's when you really know. <laughs> but, uh, before we go any further, if y'all would please delicately tap the like button, I would definitely appreciate the support. Also, um, if you are a fan of Ripple and XRP, if you are also happy to see such positive price action, go ahead and subscribe to the Moon Lambo channel because at the bare minimum, you will be in good company and I promise you that you might not regret subscribing. Which means you could. That, that's very possible. All right, uh, so as I'm recording this, XRP at 32.6 cents. Bitcoin at $18,657. You've got the market cap for the asset class at $526 billion. Uh, Bitcoin dominance at 65.76%. Let's look at this glorious 24-hour chart right here. Look at that bad boy. And it's fun because, you know, let me flip it to the 30-day now. It just So back here, so it was this, uh, November 2nd, you could have purchased XRP for 23 cents. So it's, it's not quite 50% up, but not terribly far from that. And if we keep seeing... Uh, the price go the way it's going in this direction, eh, probably hit that sooner than later. That's massive. And that's the range that I had most recently purchased when, and I did, and I acknowledge this publicly too, like I I, I paused my XRP uh, purchasing because I realized that it was reaching the point where if I didn't stop, I probably had a problem and, and needed to like enter some sort of XRP buying support group. Like I, I just, I had to stop. But uh, when I was purchasing, it was around the 22 to 24 cent zone most recently. And so I'm looking at that, looking at where we're at today, and um, definitely not crying about it. So take a look at this headline. XRP shows signs of bottoming as analysts watch for serious upside. And again, uh, this is from a little bit earlier today, but it, again, like, if you've been watching this channel, like this is what everybody's been saying for days. And now today we're really seeing it. The recent rally across the aggregated crypto market has been so strong that even XRP, the embattled token closely associated with Ripple, has been able to rally. Now, with an opening sentence like that, you know it can only come from either NewsBTC.com or Bitcoinist.com. In this case, it's NewsBTC. Even the embattled XRP. <laughs> Oh, I think they hate acknowledging this, which makes it that much more enjoyable to read, frankly. But anyway, the entire market is showing some signs of strength at the moment, with Bitcoin looking strong as it attempts to move past 18,000. Like I said, it was a little bit earlier today, uh, with most major altcoins also flashing uh, major signs of strength. Where XRP trends next will likely depend entirely on whether or not Bitcoin and the other major altcoins can all maintain their upward trajectories as any shift downturn, swift downturn rather, 
would create shockwaves spanning throughout the entire market. And I love that because <laughs> this freaking sentence here, it's dependent upon Bitcoin. So when Bit when XRP is doing well, well, yeah, it's because of Bitcoin. But when XRP is not doing well, ooh, is this the end for XRP? Is it going to go away? It's just not rallying like the rest of the coins. Do you see the narrative they do? Oh, it's complete garbage. So again, we can we can thank Bitcoin for this. And by the way, I agree. XRP in a general sense does follow Bitcoin. It's just funny how they shift their narrative to, to fit, I guess, who they believe that they're, they're selling to mostly here. <sighs> a bunch of silly nonsense stuff. But don't worry, it's not grinding my gears. I'm, I'm rather entertained by this. Uh, one analyst is now noting that there's a strong possibility that further upside is imminent in the near term as the cryptocurrency just bounced at a previous resistance level, confirming it. As support because this is a classic sign that upwards continuation is imminent XRP could be on the cusp of seeing massive near-term upside and today what well, we, we certainly seen that and it depends on what analysts you're talking about as far as what uh, what that resistance level is for instance uh, BC backer blockchain backer he was talking about 30 and a half cents you know he talked to some other ants maybe they'll say it's 31 31 and a half 32 whatever but they're all roughly in the same zone more or less from what I've been seeing here but um, one trader is even going so far as to uh, call its recent lows a long-term bottom. Now, that sounds bullish, and I would definitely not. My bags are packed, man. So, like, I, I've had years. I'm good. I'm good. If it's taken off now, I'm, I'm cool with it. And they have this little subheading here. XRP breaks above long-held trading range as uptrend kicks off. At the time of writing, XRP is trading up over 2% at its current price of $0.30. Cents. So, again, like I said, it was a little bit earlier today. Uh, but it, it doesn't matter for the points that are being made primarily within this video. Uh, this marks a notable upswing from its daily lows of 28 cents, uh, which you saw just as recently as yesterday. Now, um, there's a trader that, uh, here, let me just show you who it is. It is Credible Crypto, and he's got his, what does he have now, 72,200 followers. Um, he said that XRP, again, on the cusp of forming a long-term bottom. He points to its recent lows of 28 cents as a long-term bottom, noting that it is time to send it. And, um, and so here's the, uh, here's the actual tweet from him. The chart says it all. I see a daily close above and retest of our key red region. Bottom is likely in. Send it. So obviously a very bullish sentiment coming from, uh, from Credible Crypto. Um, and there's some other stuff that he put to... Yeah, here we go. So that, that's what he had to say about Bitcoin. Now take a look at this, though, because again, and I, I'm happy to acknowledge this, uh, because I'm not a maximalist of any coin, so it doesn't matter to me. I just want the market to do well. But XRP does indeed follow Bitcoin. So what's Bitcoin doing? Uh, well, perhaps looking pretty damn good. Here's a tweet from Credible Crypto about Bitcoin. Way for progressing nicely. $20,000 is coming, and there's nothing you can do about it. Bitcoin. Awesome. Would love to see that. I hope we keep going in this direction. And don't forget, like nothing goes up perfectly in a straight line. So even when we do start to see a notable retracement, my attitude is going to be, so what? I'm not going to emotionally panic. I'm not going to emotionally sell. I'm just going to sit there and hold. Because, uh, and I'm going to be citing this from time to time just to get this concept across. But um, in a recent video, I, 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 was, I shared a piece from, uh, I can't remember what crypto, crypto media outlet, but uh, it was some thoughts from Peter Brandt, notable chart analyst. And he, he cited that from 2015 through the end of 2017, where Bitcoin at the end of that obviously hit its all-time high nearly $20,000, he said that there were nine major corrections that aver along the way, nine major corrections over that time period that averaged about 37%. So even if XRP ramps up, even if in the short term we do see 50, 60, 70, 90 cents, whatever it is, don't assume that it's never going to go go low again. It, it, historically, it always has. And, and Bitcoin has. It, it's behaved the same way. So just arm yourself with knowledge. And if you want to buy, then buy. If you want to sell, then sell. Look, I, I don't have a financial background. I'm not telling you what to do. I don't, I'm not offering advice. Don't buy or sell anything because of me. But uh, it, to me, it just makes sense to be armed with knowledge and to not make emotional buying and selling decisions. To me, that would just be destructive and dangerous. I, I'm not going to operate that way. Oh my God, everybody else is doing so-and-so. I'm going to too. Uh, no, thank you. I'm going to be Mr. Patient because that is what's required, I believe, in order to see substantial gains. Because I have a feeling where XRP is ultimately going to go if you just fast forward a year or two or three or five, whatever it ends up being. I don't know what the timeline's going to look like, but I do believe substantially higher price points uh, in the future compared to where we are at today. Um, here's another chart analyst. I just like this one, so I wanted to share it. His name is Y. Ted, and he told his 43,300 followers, 
If XRP completes this inverse head and shoulder, holy guacamole. And you know that a chart analyst is serious when uh, references guacamole in a rhyme scheme. Bam! And so here's the chart right here. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta love it, man. Uh, even Crypto Michael here, Michael Vendapop, uh, he is definitely not a fan of Ripple and XRP, but he had to say the following. Approaching, and by the way, he's got a massive following too, doesn't he? Let me take a look. Yeah, 85,100 followers. Approaching key resistance in which breaking and flipping 33 cents opens the gate towards 50 cents. Rejection again, and I expect to test 25 to 27 cents. So sees a path forward there, or a path that, that could lead to the downside. But again, the analysts I'm following, they all acknowledge, yeah, if you don't, if it doesn't break out the way that we think is likely, fine, you can see something more to the negative. They're just talking about in terms of probabilities, more likely up than down. That's what I keep reading from them anyway. And so even this anti-Ripple and anti-XRP individual stating potentially 50 cents sooner than later. And so like I said, when you see and uh, when you see somebody that doesn't like XRP uh, saying, hey, it might be worth substantially more in like a hot minute, I'm, I'm going to pay attention. I'm going to pay a little bit of attention there. All right, um, and consider this too, because look, Bitcoin leads the market, but um, man, and all the altcoins in general just follow, but a lot of the time Ethereum uh, leads the altcoins. We have seen that as well, and so I just wanted to note this headline because uh, I don't talk about Ethereum a whole lot on the channel, but Ethereum just passed, uh, surpassed $500 for first time since 2018. And so you can see as I'm recording this, it's at $509. And so I want to see Ethereum do well, too. I just want the whole space to be worth substantially more, and XRP indeed will come along for the ride, I firmly believe. And I think that out of the top 10 cryptocurrencies, there is no other coin that is um, is, is more undervalued at this point. So uh, here we are. Interesting times, guys. Uh, just, just watching the coming days. Like, And thanks for hanging out with me on this ride, because this has been a lot of fun here. But I think we're seriously going to be seeing some fireworks along the way. And it's just, it's so fun. Um, man, I'm going to tell you what, I'm going to put another video out because I, I don't want these to go too long. There's just, there's too many opinions to put in one freaking video. But there's, you've got to see some of these Bitcoin maxi trolls and how they're like, oh yeah, XRP, but it's going to do really, really well. <laughs> and they're just clearly not happy at all. And they start cursing that. Bitcoin, XRP, S word coin. Go back to your dumpster fire under your bridge, Bitcoin Maxi Troll. Ain't nobody got time to hear your jibber jabber. Go waddle away. I will. I will stop this one here though. But uh, thank you for stopping by, my friends. I hope you're feeling good. I'm, I'm feeling great here, actually. I am not a financial advisor. Do not buy or sell anything because of anything that I say. All right, that would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the moon, Lambo.